Welcome back, my beauty squad. How you been? If you're new, it's your girl, Jessica. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down in that corner or that one. And your bell is turned on so you're notified for each and every video that I upload. And I upload often. So this is video two for tonight. Just because I could not wait to play with all these goodies. My girl Stephanie from Busy Beauty Store. She has a lot on eBay. That she sells some amazing, amazing makeup and customized boxes for any events, anything you want. Like my girl can get it. Like there are some amazing items on there. So make sure you check it out. I will have the link down below, and I will have her IG name down below as well. If you want to go check out her Instagram, just because she does post a lot of new items that she receives. And, you know, that way you can have a heads up instead of just going straight to eBay and kind of see what she has. But, please, by all means, make sure you check her out and you tell her your girl Jessica sent you. She is just an amazing friend, amazing supporter. She is just too good to me. She just now sent me a box of some great items. Like, your girl was shook when she opened it. She said she had got this top right here. This is the ColourPop X's and O's. And y'all, look at these colors. And this palette reminded her so much of me. And that's kind of like what sparked this whole situation up. And instead of just sending me out this palette, she sent me out seven palettes. Because she knows that I recently have went through some hard times and lost like everything I had. So I'm just now building back up my my makeup collection and with eight kids it's kind of slow you know but my girl just hit me up with seven amazing palettes if you want to know how i recreated this look using this palette right here keep on watching so instead of just making a, a, a whole 45 minute long video of doing both eyes I did go ahead and do this one right here and I'm going to do this one on camera so you can see each and every step that I did. I've already primed my lid. I finished my makeup up. Also, can we take a moment and look at these amazing brushes she sent me. Look. Just so pretty. She sent me a whole bunch of goodies. I have the video is... The one right before this one, make sure you check it out if you haven't already. But I'm going to use this palette. And then I'm going to use my Stella Gold Godness afterwards to get this look right here. And I'm going to jump into the light orange right there. And I just want to take a moment and tell my husband, because I know he watches every one of my videos, Honey, it's Stephanie's fault because I've never used ABH products before, but we've got to get the big palette. I know it's stupid, it's expensive, but this palette is amazing. And this is just like minis. I can only imagine what all the other colors do y'all see the pigment in this? It is so beautiful. Taking that same brush, going into the darker orange right here. Going on my outer V, bringing it up. I like to flick out my shadows. And I have to say, this palette doesn't have a lot of fallout. For these to be some vibrant, vibrant colors, there's not a lot of fallout. Just like so. Then I'm going to go in with a 
another blender brush with this yellow up here and I just want to take it across the top to blend out any harsh lines just like that now I've got like a more precise blender brush I'm going in with a fuchsia purpley pink color And I'm adding that to my outer V. Flicking this color out just as well and bringing it up just a tad. I wasn't too sure what I was going to do with this palette with color wise like if I needed to dip into something else or what may you but I learned to come up with this look just with this palette so I'm bringing that fuchsia color right up under my lid on my lower lid I mean my lid. And I like to make sure my colors connect right there at the end. I'm very picky. Go back here with that yellow. And right up under that pink. Just. Bringing it out just a little bit to blend it better. There we go. Now I do have to cut my crease, which I had told y'all in my last video I was going to do a cut crease. So I remember most of my things I say. I am a little absent minded, but not all the way. I'm just going in with a flat brush like that. My girl Candy sent me. I love these brushes. Look how cute the handles are. And then I got hooded eyes. I literally did like that. And it opened my eye a little bit. My nose won't stop running. And bring it that cut crease up just a little bit. And it out. I am using my Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer. It does dry down fast, but it is good. And I like it because it's like a lighter shade, so it's gonna make any color pop. And at my top, I just bring it out just a tad, and then at the bottom, patting that area out. And then what I like to do, I'm going to go in with this flatter blending brush that has that purple fuchsia color on it. And at my edge, not bringing in no more color, just dragging that to connect the rub out that harsh line. Just like so. Cut crease is really, really easy. If I could do it, I promise you, you could do it. With another flat brush, I'm going in with this green right there, that bright mint green. One of the shades that broke. And I'm laying that right on top of that concealer.
And whenever your concealer is still a little wet, it's best to just pack the color in. You know, just say you don't have to really blend this out. Just make sure you get it everywhere your concealer is laid down. And if you want a more vibrant color, pack, not blend. And then just make sure you blend out your edges. These are so amazing shadows. Like, thank you, Stephanie. I do know that they have some palettes at, um, let me look at TJ Maxx. And I want, I, I've, I've got to go try some ABH palettes now. And I'm just taking that shimmer shade right there. I've got to be really careful. I will show y'all. But that's my shade that broke. And I'm putting that in my inner corner. And bringing it out onto the lid just a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Just a tad like so, add a some more shimmer over here, see, now with this right here I'm going to take a more detailed brush just like that, taking the product off the wand. There we go. And I'm literally just putting this right at my cut crease line. That's why I love these little precise brushes. They're so good for that. Just like so. I will take my orange linen brush and just make sure all my edges are not rough across the top like so now being I don't really have like a highlighter highlighter shade in that palette I'm gonna go in with my my Jeffree Star Peppermint Frost with a little flat brush and just go I'm gonna tap into ugly sweater And put that under my brow bone. There we go. How pretty. Now all I need is my eye, my eyeliner. And y'all, please do not come at me. I know I'm not supposed to be doing my eyeliner like this, but I always have and I always will. And I know I'm not supposed to pull up my lid. I'm 
something just like that. Ta-da. And then I used a Kat Von D cake pencil. And I'm using the Voluminous Feline from L'Oreal that my girl Stephanie just sent me. I hate when my nose waters. Just like so. Very colorful look. Okay, she had gave me a couple of uh, lip pencils I want to try out as well. I like this little mauvey brown color. Very pretty color. And y'all probably hear Miss Luna Bear in the back. My baby girl. She's in her little jumper playing. I want to try Tord. I want to try the Dose of Colors lipstick. But I also want to try the Revlon. And then I want to try the NYX. This is a pretty color too. And a couple more. <laughs> Stephanie, you know I'm so unpersuasive. Like, I cannot make up my mind and you do not help me. You gave me more options. That's that color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color and add just a tad. I love mixing and matching colors to make my own. And then, and only then, I got some more. So I'm going to add my Cancer Wet and Wild Lip Gloss Color Cod Lip Gloss. It said Cancer. That's my sign. I was born 7-13. And I do not have no like white lip gloss, so this is amazing. Because you can literally add this on any color and it makes it shine. Okay. That's the lip. That's the eye. Let's do the cheek. <coughs> I know this palette right here. I want to try out the formula. I've never tried out BH Cosmetics. 
and it has a beautiful highlighter in there. Look at this stinking cute little brush for a highlighter that she gave me. I can't wait to jump into those colors. Like that's so pretty. A very neutral palette. Y'all, look at that highlighter. All right, I hear you, BH Cosmetics. And y'all, this brush fits just right in there. Like, look. And a little bit more shine to the top of my brow. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, this is my look. Let me spray my face before I knock something down, which I know I'm good for. <laughs> and I'm using the Milani Make It Last setting spray, 16 hours wear. She gave me. Ooh, I like this sprayer. And what I like to do is, I like to go in with my blending sponge. And why my face is still wet. And just go around and press everything down it helps me from looking cakey being I do have a lot of dry spots a lot of texture areas and I will go in one more time with that highlighter just because I like to use it afterwards too if I'm going to bling I'm going to bling great you know? Just because when I spray and then I go in with my sponge, it tends to make everything else settle into my skin and my highlighter is not one that I want to really settle. So. I told y'all, I always drop something. It don't matter. Okay, anyways. This is my final look. I am in love with ABH. Like, these colors are so easy to work with so easy to blend and just so beautiful together like I did not know exactly what kind of a look I was going to do but I knew I wanted this to be the first palette I played with out of the seven and I am so glad I did but do y'all see how that fuchsia fuchsia purple pink and mint green go together like Beautiful, beautiful. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. Please, please, please go check out my girl Stephanie. Busy Beauty Store. Both of her, well, her eBay link will be down below. And plus, I will have her IG name so you can look her up. 
please just give her a big old shout out. Let her know your girl sent you. And, you know, even if you don't buy nothing, look at her lots. Go share her stuff. You know, maybe you might not know, know. Maybe you might not want something right now. But you might know somebody that will. And spread the love. Why not? She did not ask me to do this by no means. This was a gift to me. And I wanted to share with y'all. Because y'all know I'm all about growing and sharing and helping each other. And that's the least I could do. Because my girl hooked me up. Like on a real note. Like I'm speechless. Still speechless. When I, opened, when I picked up the box I was like hold up what? Because she told me she was like I got you that palette in there and some, some more little goodies. Some more little goodies. Heck you got me a whole bunch of goodies. I, my table is full right here. Thank you, Stephanie. I've got to start. I've had everything like in my little boxes because I don't have a lot. Yeah, I'm going to have to really get like a little shelf to start putting my makeup in. I've already got a box to the side of my giveaway goodies, you know, keeping them away so I don't open them or anything. Like whenever I do my giveaways, that's, that's where all my items go. Whenever I pick up stuff, I already got like seven or eight items in there so you know you don't want to miss my giveaway i do think though what we're going to do is just because i know not everybody is like up for makeup especially as a appreciation when i reach my my achievement goals you know what i'm saying like 100 200 300 subscribers so I think when I do my 100, 200, 300, we're just going to do the gift cards for those. And my giveaways that I want to do like each month or whatever, I'm going to put goodies to the side and that's going to be an extra giveaway. You see what I'm saying? Because like when I get my, my e.l.f. palette, I'm doing a flash giveaway with that. So some lucky subscriber... My YouTube family member out here will win that palette. And I'm so excited for you to use that. Like, it's a beautiful palette. I loved it to death. And also, both, both of the eye looks I came up with, like that. It blended so well. I know Elf is a hit and miss with her shadows. But that palette is gorgeous. And you get a little bit of everything. You get blues, you get greens, and you get golds. And I think there's like a couple of browns in there. So, like you can go from a subtle look to a bold look like that. So, again, please subscribe if you have not subscribed. We're almost at 300, y'all. Like, let's get them numbers up. And rolling. And rolling. But, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my wackiness. Amor mio. Te amo demasiado, porque ya sé que estás viendo eso. Uh, to my lovely husband, I love you so much. I know you're watching me. And everybody else, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for growing together. All my, for my, my YouTubers out here, like, I love this community. Thank you so much for all the amazing comments I get every day. If I don't get right back to you, I promise you I will. Do not be distracted. I do not want to leave anybody left unread or anybody left unspoken to. I do have eight kids back here, so it's kind of spurts. I do try to get on here as much as possible and communicate with everybody. But if I don't get right back to you, please, 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 don't leave me. Don't get discouraged. I will comment back as soon as I get a chance. I love y'all. Until the next one.